right, all right, so far so good. Is everybody here? All right, kids, there's hair, there's Lark, there's Clover, all right. And now we are back on the search again, my friends. So hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where even though my heart is pounding, here, let's go ahead and drop the kids off over here. My heart is pounding as we have Hare, Clover, and Lark here with our Generation 3 heiress to the Dawn Moon, Demeter, as she and Ayasin are desperately trying to find a new den. I am... <gasps> Did we finally find the new den? And we smell a grizzly bear. Oh dear. All right. What comes first? Oh my gosh. Is this deer like literally leading us to the grizzly or to um the den? We finally found the den, Ayasin. Oh my gosh. I am so so relieved okay we need to go get our pups i can't believe we finally found it you guys that weird den we kept smelling and yet we couldn't actually find oh my gosh i'm so relieved my heart is pounding right now okay so we actually have found where that mystery den was we're going to bring our puppies over here we're going to solidify the area especially up towards gravel fan so that we have a nice established territory and then hopefully this time our den won't flood all right come on kids wow i actually thought we were going to have a much harder time finding a new den so the fact that it only took us like a few steps of following that deer I think that Demeter's gonna consider deer to be extremely lucky from now on. I'm not sure, maybe we'll even like let the occasional one go and we'll start trying to hunt. All right, come on here. He's a bit of a slow poke because he's so big. Look at Ayasin like trying to keep track of him. All right, let's go ahead and pick him up. Lark is as usual, extremely fast. And then there's a deer in the distance. I wonder if Demeter might stop hunting mule deer for a little bit as her way of saying thank you because the deer helped us to stumble on this den that it took forever to go ahead and find. All right, let's dig this thing out. This is gonna be like our refuge. I am so relieved we finally found it. How deep is this? <laughs> that took us forever to dig into, oh my gosh. All right, and this is going to be uh, the deer dawn den for the dawn pack. And we made it, you guys! All of the puppies are alive and well. I am so relieved. Holy cow. All right, Demeter, she really put up with a lot there. I think that she's extremely relieved that we have managed to make it. With all the puppies too. All right, so Hare is calling out. And look at that. So Hare, who is our biggest chonker, which is why he was the slowest most of the time while we were making our way here, is already up to eight pounds. Lark is definitely lagging behind his brother. Clover is sitting right smack dab in the middle. And we have now moved from this den down here all the way to up here, which really seems to indicate that instead of being able to take over that intriguing abandoned wolf den, we might actually fan out across the gravel fan area and we might really start pushing ourselves into some of the prospect peak territory and snagging it from them because i think their main territory chunk is this all the way up here so there's a good chance that we could really make ourselves very comfortable along this forest which is a place we have actually never tried to adventure in before so i'm very curious about that but all right pups in you go all right come on here come on lark come on clover Everybody pile on in. Phew. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to solidify our control of this area to make sure that we don't have any problems with the encroaching Prospect Peak group. All right. Whew. And I kind of feel like Demeter might not hunt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a bunny. There's bunny, 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 bunny. 35 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago. All right. All right. Let's hunt a lucky rabbit's foot. Harder to see in the tall grasses here than not. Ayasin's staying with the pups. I mean, I guess that's totally fine. Well, where is the bunny? Are we anywhere close to it? 35 minutes ago. It was really dashing around the place. What? 30 minutes ago. Snowshoe hair, snowshoe hair. 25 minutes ago. All right, is it over here? Maybe? Is there a rabbit over here? 
I mean, there's the scent of a rabbit, which is nice. Oh, oh, oh. There it is! All right! Lucky rabbit's foot, yes! Okay, that is definitely going to make Demeter feel better. Thank goodness. Let me go ahead and get my field notes out. And that is now rabbit. Let's see, we have 10, 20. <gasps> That's rabbit 28! Wow! And actually, the puppies are growing up a little faster than I expected, too. Yeah, I mean, yes, they are, yes, like, that, that, that's a little bit true, a little bit not true. They're definitely going to be taking their sweet time about it, um, because we took so much longer to get Demeter ready to go. <gasps> we took so much longer! Yes! All right, another wonderful rabbit. Wow, and look at the way the river looks today. Oh, that's so cool. We'll go ahead and nom up this one too. That now makes 29. We're almost up to 30 rabbits. Lucky rabbit's feet for sure. Ooh, and there's even a bull elk carcass. Don't mind if we do. All right. I mean, we're way too full to be able to eat it, but if it happens to be nearby. Okay, I don't smell it at the edge of the river. And we're not going across the river because Demeter really wants to stay in a safe place for her pups. All right, but we'll go to the east and we'll try to claim a couple territory spots in a game of capture the flag. And yeah, I'm actually really thinking that we truly might go ahead and leave the deer alone as her way of saying thanks for the deer to literally, for literally leading us to the coyote den we needed. Oh, are we about to lose? this hunt oh we just stole this from a from a coyote yes all right and now we actually have number 30 so we need 70 more rabbits before the pups become adults that might be or become ready to leave the summer hunting ground that might be easy that might be hard we'll have to see but yeah, this is going to be so interesting to see if Demeter raises her pups faster than Basil because she starts with less puppies to begin with since he had four pups born. Ooh, so exciting. And then we're going to go ahead. All right, another rabbit. As tempting as that would be, I think Demeter, after the heart attack of like having the pups so threatened, we are going to go ahead and try to stay focused just for a little bit. Wow, look at the gravel fan. Oh, oh, rabbit. That one literally practically jumped into our, our mouth just as I was thinking. But does anything ever show up over here? That's hilarious. Yeah, maybe we will actually have a chance to go ahead and get all 100 of the hairs that she wants. Even though, even though she was so distracted for a little bit there at trying her best to go ahead and make sure that the puppies would survive because we had no home and that really startled me all right there it is okay let's go for it we're gonna go ahead and scent mark capture the flag this spot it looks like there's more deer further in but i would really love to know where there might be some like elk hiding all right let's go ahead and scent mark over here don't mind if I do. And maybe we'll head over into the forest just to kind of see what options we might have for better hunting ground. Because this really is like the first time we've ever truly been here. And I wish Ayasin was with here. Oh, there we go! Was with her and here with us. Because then if we run into the Prospect Peak Pack, we can check off one of his stranger wolf encounters that we're supposed to do. But alas, that's not the case. Also, while we're out, we should probably be looking for the potentiality of a den, just in case. There's some bison over the, the range. Whew, this is exciting! Like, I've never been over here before, so Demeter is exploring a whole new area. <gasps> Look at the bison herd! Wow! She definitely has the kind of curiosity where she would go ahead all right hopefully she won't attract any attention from those who we don't want attention from aka the prospect peak pack with this but this just looks so picturesque i have to go ahead and celebrate demeter good job demeter all right let's see there we go we're gonna cross the border 
And let's keep our nose in the air for any potential dens, too. Unlikely at the edges of the map, but still. Alright, let's see. Mule deer running about. Very delicious rabbit feet. Waiting for our attention to be caught. But where, oh where, is the scent post for this area? Hmm. Okay, there's the scent post, so at least we found that. We'll hurry over to it now. And we'll probably head back pretty soon to sleep with the pups. Because Demeter actually, I don't think she has very much stamina. I'll have to double check her stats, but she gets tired pretty quickly. Yes! Wow! Okay! Excellent! So there's some wonderful hunting grounds out here, at least, that are now ours. <gasps> if we go down south, we'll be able to snag one more? Are you kidding me? Okay, we'll try that out. And then we might even call Ayasin to come join us, but I could understand how he would want to defend the puppies at the new den. Fingers crossed that that doesn't flood, because I really don't have a backup den. And I would be kind of stressed that we might end up having to have no den. <laughs> Which would be a cool challenge unto itself, but still. <laughs> Alright, up we go, up we go. And just have to territory mark this spot. Capture the flag. Don't mind if I do. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Alright. Is that gonna work? Yes! There we go, you guys! Alright, our girl can go ahead and celebrate because it's just a straight run through our Dawn Moonback territory. Completely on the opposite side of the valley from where her father raised her. But I think we're going to do great. We'll go ahead and try to snag up a few of the rabbits that might be running afoot whilst we're making our way back. Holy cow, what happened over here with these coyotes? <gasps> a bison kill! Oh, this is fantastic! All right, we'll go ahead and we'll like snag ourselves a little bit of this bison. Bisons are huge. If there was more to him, I would call Ayasin over so that he could fill up his stomach, but there is not. All right, there we go. And then onwards. So that's what the coyotes were all excited about, but I wonder who ended up killing him. That does beg a question. All right, and there are actually a lot of rabbit trails that we're stumbling on. Hmm. Okay, we're about to stumble on a rabbit. So you know what that means. <gasps> no, that's my rabbit! My rabbit, you jerk! I saw that golden eel try to steal our kill. Whoa, it got away from us. Oh, Demeter, you gotta get your mouth not full. Come on, go, 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 go. I know you want the lucky rabbit's foot more. Yes. All right, 32. Oh, there goes another bunny. Oh, oh, and we're full. I can't believe this. What a travesty. But it, I think Demeter would even hesitate to waste having a bunch of uh, rabbit's feet. She wouldn't just go ahead and try to try to abandon dead rabbits all over the place. Especially because that would probably attract a bunch of coyotes. All right, onwards. Huh, I'm so relieved. The only thing I don't like about this area is that we don't have other dens and I haven't really smelled any potential elk. I'm not sure if this, I mean, there's a lot of moose and we can always hunt moose calves when they come of age. Who on earth are you trying to fight with? For some reason, Demeter runs into the fussiest moose. Like, usually moose are like, whatever, I'm not going to pay attention to you with our wolves. But when it comes to Demeter, she just runs into, like, the fussiest ones who are like, I'm going to step on this wolf. I don't know what it is about her that just brings out the worst in the moose. Wow. And look at this big old stretch of territory. It just looks so desolate in some regard. Because as a big gravel... Oh, there's more bunnies. Because it's just this big gravel fan, it doesn't have very good soil to help trees or grass grow. But it is quite beautiful and it's full of rabbits. So I actually think it's the perfect place for Demeter to go ahead and give this a try. But all right guys, we've made it! 
we have our new den. I am hopeful that hopefully it won't flood and we'll be able to have our pups survive. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Demeter and Ayasin's good luck and also that wonderful deer for guiding us here. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.